Mother, I am now 28 years old and in prison for my part in your murder. And although I can never justify my crime, nor can any letter or apology give back the life that was taken, I am writing this as if you were physically in front of me to express all that I have held in for the whole of my life. I am writing this letter having had nearly five years to feel the emotions felt when expressing the words written. Every day since your death, I have had nothing but time to reflect on the choices that have led me to where I am today. Moreover, of how your own actions form the circumstances around mine. The woman writing this letter to you is far different than the girl who was once broken and desperate to live what I would later come to understand as just an average life for a young woman. Living 23 years of my life with you as my only guardian, the one person who had the responsibility of shaping who I would grow up to become. Unfortunately, my upbringing was a far cry from that which it should have been. Mom, after all that has happened, I have been searching for answers and spending my time trying to learn about myself as a person, trying to make sense of why all these events unfolded with the amount of tragedy. With now having the answers I sought to find, I am able to finally let go of the resentment I held against you and forgive you. And moreover, I want to let you know that I'm so sorry for having a part in your death. Murder was never the answer or solution. There is not a single day that you go unremembered, and I will carry this regret and remorse for the rest of my life. I will always love you for bringing me into this world, and will remember you with love for the woman I know was a good person behind the mental disorder. Going forward, I will take my past and turn it from pain to perseverance. I can never undo the hurt that was caused by my actions, but I hope by doing this, I am remembering you well and making a positive difference with your memory. I love you, Mom. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, 2018, Chillicothe Correctional Center, Missouri. Well, hello my loves. I am Aisha and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am a tarot reader, occultist, student of astrology, and lifelong true crime enthusiast. If you would like to book a reading with me, become one of my 18 plus patrons, or simply follow me on social media, the links to do so are all in the description box below. And while you're there, why not like and subscribe? Today I want to talk about Gypsy Rose Blanchard. My main source of information for this video was her book, Released Conversations on the Eve of Freedom, which as always I highly highly recommend it's absolutely it is such a good read when i tell you that i cried <laughs> throughout this book i'm not even exaggerating and not in like a pretty and not like in a pretty porn oh woe is her poor gypsy kind of way but i just i felt so seen and understood like just while reading it and not because i had an abusive upbringing or had any kind of experience like what she experienced but I did have a difficult upbringing and I'm going through such a difficult transitional period of my life at the moment I'm 22 I'm trying to find my feet I'm trying to find my way in the world I'm just trying to get out of this this life that sometimes feels like a curse you know when sometimes it sometimes feels like a curse like I'm just trying to escape this low income life this unemployment and there were so many things that she said that just resonated with me so deeply I'm obviously a very spiritual person I run a spiritual business I work as a spiritual advisor spiritual healer I come on YouTube to do tarot readings and spread you know spiritual love spiritual light spirituality is important to me and there's so many times in this book when when gypsy talks about god god is important to me very important to me even when i've had religion god is important to me very important to me even when i've had problems with religion i've always found comfort and solace in god i i always 
you know, trying to understand my own religious and spiritual beliefs, I always say that at the heart of it for me is my love for God, God in whatever shape or form. I just love God. And there's so many times in this book when Gypsy talks about God and she talks about timing, especially timing, the way that she talks about timing, I tell you, I cried. <laughs> I cried. There was just so many things that she wrote about that she said so many things that she expressed that I just felt like we were on the same wavelength and there were just so many things that I really really needed to hear and like yeah I just really really recommend this book not just to like further understand Gypsy or anything else but it's just such a good read especially if you're also going through a difficult patch or a difficult transitional period or just a transitional period because all transitional periods are fairly <laughs> difficult but yeah i really really do recommend it anyway let us now get into the case of gypsy rose blanchard starting from the day that changed it all june 14 2015 the day when a facebook update reading that b is dead would be posted to the page that claudine Dee, Dee blanchard and her daughter gypsy rose blanchard shared Another Facebook update read, I effing slashed that fat pig and raped her sweet innocent daughter. Her scream was so effing loud, lol. Worried friends of Dee Dee Blanchard called the police, who arrived to find the 48-year-old single mother dead in the bedroom of her Springfield, Missouri home. She had been stabbed 17 times, and her 19-year-old daughter was nowhere to be found. This of course caused instant concern. Not only had her mother just been found murdered, but Gypsy was as vulnerable as they come. See, she was severely ill, wheelchair bound for most of her life due to her multiple chronic illnesses and conditions which included leukemia, muscle dystrophy, asthma and brain damage. Or so everyone including Gypsy, believed. Both community and authorities would come together to look for the missing Gypsy, finally finding her alive and well in Wisconsin, in the home of her then-boyfriend Nicholas Godijon. And with this, as we often see in such cases, the killing of Dee Dee Blanchard by the hands of Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Nicholas Godijon was only the tip of the iceberg. After all, most children don't just kill their parents without a reason. With this killing, unbelievable truths would come to light. For one, remember how I said that Gypsy was 19 years old? She wasn't. She was actually 24. And she wasn't sick at all. She didn't need her wheelchair. She could walk and does walk now as a free woman. She didn't need her feeding tube either, and she certainly didn't have all those chronic illnesses she had spent her life thinking she had, and that she had been treated for, received surgery for. No, it had all been a lie. A lie that no one had been more duped into than Gypsy Rose Blanchard herself. A lie born of Dee Dee Blanchard's Munchausen Syndrome by proxy which is a mental disorder wherein a caregiver creates the appearance of health problems in the person in their care, typically a parent in their child. This disorder would manifest not only in Dee Dee creating the appearance of health problems in Gypsy, but in her isolating her daughter, physically abusing her daughter, and of course, milking her daughter's conditions for fame, attention, gifts, and donations eventually trapped and not seeing any way out from under her mother's controlling thumb, especially not seeing any way for her and her boyfriend to be together, Gypsy and Nicholas Godijon would kill Dee Dee Blanchard. This would lead to both Gypsy and Nicholas Godijon being imprisoned, with Godijon still in jail and serving a life sentence with no chance of parole, and Gypsy Rose recently being set free. And with her being set free, it just has me wondering what comes next for her. Already we're seeing her being treated as somewhat of a public figure, going on interviews and talk shows and being covered on Stan Twitter 
the way any other celebrity would be her relationship status was covered when she broke up with her ex husband ryan it was covered um her sending in her her plastic surgery pics to tmz it's just it's fascinating and i'm just curious about what's to come and you may have noticed i didn't go in depth with her case because her case has been told or her story rather her story has been told time and again time and again time and again and you can find so many videos talking about it so i am mostly uh, to look at the tarot so my last video was quite heavy i did the case of jocelyn smith so i just want something a bit more you know like i just don't feel like it's gonna be a lot of heavy energy today it's fascinating and she is becoming this this cultural icon and so i'm curious about what comes next i wonder if i had done this video when i initially planned to do it which was about two weeks ago if i would have picked up on the divorce and the plastic surgery so let's just see let's get into it and see what we are looking at today so for today's reading i am using oh why is it split one moment please okay so for today's reading i am using the phantom wise tarot by erin morgenstern there's no viewfinder on my camera um i mean there is one it's on the back there's a screen on the back there's nothing that sticks out for me to look at myself um i wonder if i can get an attachable detachable one so that i can see because i'm playing it by ear at the moment but anyway, I am using the Phantom Wise Tarot by Erin Morgenstern. It's such a beautiful deck. So let's just see what's coming next for Gypsy Rose Blanchard. What's coming next for Gypsy Rose Blanchard? Please split. Okay. Death. A big transformation, which is fair. And we're already seeing signs of this big transformation with her getting back with her ex as far as my last information um stands getting back with her ex getting the the matching tattoos with her ex getting her nose surgery getting i don't i don't think there was anything else i think the plastic surgery on her nose was the last big update but i do think we're going to see like a very big transformation and not just a transformation in her physically but in the position she takes in the culture because do you know what keeps coming to mind now that i pulled out death i'm thinking of kim card no courtney chloe kardashian's reality show revenge body and we can talk about the optics of that some other time or never i don't really care to have that conversation but <laughs> but something like that where she might go on a reality show she might do a complete 180 with her appearance she might get her teeth done lose a lot of weight or go on a reality show where the point is like like a makeover show i feel like that's something that's coming through a makeover show and when i said makeover show i just had this image in my mind of her sitting on um the panel of judges for rupaul's drag race and you know i don't know i, I kind of want to say no i don't think that would happen but also why not so i feel like that is something like we're just going to see her become more of a more of an icon more of a socialite more of a, an influencer almost i know she has taken a break from social media and she said that she has to take accountability she's done her time in prison she's she's been held accountable as far as i'm concerned she shouldn't have done any time but um yeah i feel like you know she should be able to assume this greater cultural role because why not i think it would be amazing to see her on rupaul i might actually tune back in if that ever happened the wheel of fortune great great things coming for her great 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 things coming for her a lot of good luck oh okay wait i was shuffling and the fool came out and i didn't point it out but when i picked up the deck before i you know when it was in two hearts 
The Fool was at the bottom. New beginnings. This is so... I'm going to get a whiteboard, a magnetic whiteboard and some magnets so I can have it look better. But I'll be a, a bit down the line, maybe this weekend or next week. Maybe. But just so new beginnings. A transformation. A transformation that... How do I say this? Makes things play out for the best. So this, so with maybe coming back onto social media or not even coming back onto social media, but seeing a shift in how she starts to present herself in the kind of gig she starts to go after or the, the way she starts to, or the job she, she starts to go after. I know she has aspirations of advocacy and being an advocate. And I wonder if she might start looking into a career in politics or into going into law school but i also still feel that those other things that i said earlier are very prominent kind of becoming more of a reality star becoming more of a public figure in that way going on reality shows taking part in reality competitions um maybe even starting a talk show of her own because i just pictured now like you know um the Carisha, Carisha show uh, I don't I've never watched it I only watched that one clip where Megan Thee Stallion was on it um, and she was being interviewed by Carisha and I just kind of pictured this like talk show set <laughs> this talk show set where it's like Gypsy and it's like the Gypsy Rose show or it's just Gypsy Rose or something like that and I think that would be very interesting whatever kind of perspective she decides to take I think a uh, pardon I think a talk show would be very interesting, would be very fun, and I think it would be a good way to go. But also the law school, um, advocacy, politics, I think that would also be a good direction for her to take as well. So let's see. What's to come for Gypsy Rose Blanchard, please, Spirit? The Ace of Swords, a new mindset, a new approach to life an aha moment almost where it's like when she's now in the actual real world what she thought she wanted out of her life and what she actually wants out of her life are or is rather is very different because when she was in prison she may have had one idea for her life like oh i'm gonna go out and do this and be this and experience this and achieve this and now that she's actually living she's like wait but I actually don't want that and I don't want to box myself into this and I just want to experience as much of life as possible and I want to follow a different path. The Six of Pentacles, starting a charity. Starting a charity, giving away um, money, giving away belongings. I feel like if she earns any sizable income in the near future maybe through some deal or something a lot of it will be given to charity paying back the charities that um helped her while she was growing up the only charity that comes to mind is um because it's the only one i know off the top of my head is the uh, habitat for humanity the charity or the the npo the organization that gave her and Didi their house in Missouri so I wonder if she's going to be collaborating with them on something or donating back to them but it doesn't have to only be them it can be a bunch of the charities that helped them a bunch of the hospitals that gave them free um what's the word free treatments just giving back if she does become this cultural figure if she starts if she does start going on like talk shows and not start because she's already been on some all right so i am back my camera battery died i had to charge it and everything it was a bit annoying but not that bad i do need to get a spare battery though so that this doesn't happen in the future because it does take you out of the moment so if i remember correctly what i was saying was uh, we were on the topic about donating charity and i was going to say that Whatever work she takes on in the near future, 
people might look at her as like um, a sellout or doing things for like a cash grab but what I'm channeling and what I'm feeling is that whatever work she does take on she'll take on with the intent and the purpose to give a lot of that money away so it's like if she knows she's gonna get a big paycheck she'll do it and then like give a big fraction of it to a charity to you know donate it so let's see um i probably will not be on for much longer because my battery probably going to die again and i was so worried that i was that i was going to lose whatever i had recorded because i had been recording for half an hour at that point luckily it i didn't and it doesn't seem to have been corrupted or anything so that's good but i do need to get a spare battery it's to come for gypsy rose blanchard queen of cups the queen of cups another marriage a new relationship or we could see the queen of cups as like maybe not settling down and oh okay what came out here oh the page of cups and and the knight of cups that's so interesting because i was going to say that oh if we have a knight of cups i would say that she's like experimenting more she's flirting so yeah i feel like she she's not ready to settle down and maybe at a point she thought she was and i mean we see that she thought she was with ryan and then there was also a fiance before ryan someone she met while she was in jail i don't remember his name i'm not sure if that's been shared i think it was it wasn't chris no but there was ryan that's the husband that we know of um and then there was a fiance before that and they broke up because if i remember correctly um while they were together is when the act came out and that's when she was like really rocketed skyrocketed to fame kind of inf infamy fame but into being a public figure and he couldn't deal with that and so they broke up and then ryan came along and now she's out and she's divorced and there's this other guy that's in her life who i don't really know but i think he's another of her exes i wonder if he's the fiance i'm not sure anyway but yeah so we see somebody experimenting with love um feeling like she missed out on like that teenage kind of um romances like missed out on uh being on, like you know like playing the field and stuff like that so really just not taking relationships too seriously just having a lot of fun with relationships at the moment um i feel like there might be a bit of a a high profile relationship that um i don't want to say like oh with a celebrity but another public figure like i feel like yeah some another public figure um a journalist or somebody like that you know who's coming to mind um george clooney and his wife so it could be a public figure in that regard somebody who's very highly regarded in a political field or um <laughs> or like what, what am i trying to channel here because something else that does come through so maybe a, a relationship with a celebrity in the sense of um not a romantic relationship so like i said earlier with playing the field and stuff like that and then on a different note is that there's this relationship with a celebrity i kind of i'm kind of thinking of like making the stallion on live and like somebody's like oh what do you think about gypsy rose and then she's like oh i love her or something like that you know what i mean and so just kind of seeing gypsy become more of a public figure become more entrenched in like celebrity circles but this is like separate from um the dating though i feel like we could be seeing her dating a public another a fellow public figure but i'm trying to think would it be a celebrity the seven of cups lots of options but no i don't think it would be a celebrity um i feel like she might have her eyes on someone and there might be someone she's talking with maybe like a dealer or somebody like that who knows though really who knows but i do feel like we're going to be seeing her more what is this three of wands 
Okay, the three of wands. A lot of plans for the future, a lot of plans for the future, a lot of things she wants to do and I feel like that makes sense and not just that it makes sense but we know this because she's spoken in the past about um, her plans for advocacy, her plans to start an organization, um, you know those kind of plans. So let's see, just a final card for, what's to come for Gypsy Rose, please spirit. The King of Pentacles. Okay, walking into an era of abundance, walking into an era of wealth. This may also signify a rich lover coming towards her um, or somebody taking an interest in her. Somebody making maybe like a big TV show about her, a TV series about her. I think if I remember correctly, there is a show in the works, a reality show in the works. But I think it's not just one show that's coming about. This could be an executive who sees her market potential who sees um, the number she brings in, the money she brings in, and takes a really big... I don't want to even say, oh, it's a chance on her, because, I mean, it's Gypsy. I don't think you're taking a chance on her. You're just spending money on her. Um, but, like, you know, starts to build, like, a career around her, or starts to build her career in... Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, in... Um, not just social media but in entertainment in entertainment in that kind of industry and i feel like she's going to really get a love for the entertainment industry maybe behind the camera not so much in front of it but i feel like that's something that we're going to be seeing as a photographer a video a videographer a cinematographer some kind of love for the entertainment industry that's really going to come about in this year or early next year and she's going to delve into this new career behind the camera i think that would be so amazing but i really do think we're going to be seeing a physical total physical transformation of gypsy um we, we're already starting to see that new uh the new nose um the tattoos i think we're also going to see maybe um physically in her body like with uh, weight loss or strength training getting like muscular um, or just well built in a way um, changing up her hair getting her teeth done just a lot of physical changes and she's just going to really blossom into the woman that she's always wanted to be um, and that she can be in many many ways not just physically but in her career in her love life just experience all the beauty the riches that life has to offer yeah <laughs> well with that and with love, thank you so much for spending this time with me. What do you think the future has in store for Gypsy Rose Blanchard? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, bye!